Welcome everyone. In this video, we will take a look at the Font Awesome project, a easy way to bring in a multitude of different fonts into your project. As you can see, they've recently released a package that makes Font Awesome available for Flutter. And with a few lines of code, it is easy to bring in literally hundreds of different icons into your application. So within their website, you can make use of their search functionality to discover any icon that you might desire. The grayed out icons are licensed icons, so you would require to upgrade to the pro license. However, it is possible to filter by the free icons. Okay, so to begin, we have the skeleton for application. The first thing we would need to do is import the font awesome Flutter dependency. This version we got from the .lang repository. First, we would need to import the font awesome package and then we will include a icon. As you can see, it is working, um, but it's not rendering the icon. This is because we would need to stop and restart the application because of the new dependency that we added. So stopping and restarting the app, you can see it is working and it is rendering the Android logo. So let's quickly add a couple of icons. Okay, we have a couple of icons here. If we jump back to the Font Awesome website, let's see if we can find other interesting icons to include in our application. We filter by free and by code. Let's incorporate bug. Let's incorporate the user secret. And yeah, you get the idea. There is a ton of icons available. As you can see, there's even a Halloween section. So something else we can do is also change the color of the icons. These icons are vector graphics, so we can control them and we can resize them as much as we want. They will scale to fit perfectly. And yeah, that's that for this video. A quick video to show you how you can incorporate the Font Awesome icons into your application. Yeah, I hope you found it useful. See you in the next video.